If you ever need to bug out from your house due to wildfire, flood, or even alien invasion, or just want to get out into the country and go camping, the ability to stay connected to the rest of the world has a lot of benefits associated with it. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a way of doing that that goes far beyond simple handheld radio communication, and everything that I'm going to be talking about in this video is all contained in this one bag. There could be anything in there. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now waiting, better believe in your mind because it's everything. You can mold, shape, find almost anything. Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and in this video I'm talking about a new mobile internet service that I think could really change the way that you're able to connect to the internet, make it a lot easier for you to get data, both during you know, regular times and certainly during an emergency situation, and also could save you an awful lot of money. And that's really a big reason why I'm doing this video, is when I realized that uh, this service would allow people to get rid of a lot of other services in their life and kind of package it all in this one service, that you could save an awful lot of money by mo moving to this service. So that's why I wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, the company uh, is called Nomad Internet. Uh, when you engage with them, you get this classy little uh, bag here, and all the equipment is in here. Uh, it's really, really easy to set up. They kind of preset it up for you, which, you know, the, the uh, anti-tech in me really appreciated. Uh, there's a battery in here, which lasts, you know, it has an exact number of like, uh, you know, watt, watt hours, but essentially forever. The thing lasts forever. It's a really, really long-lasting battery. Uh, it has their, uh, uh, internet connection device, uh, this is called, called the Nomad Air, which is in here, and there's an on-off switch, off and on. And uh, you wait about 30 seconds with the blue light on, and uh, and then you have a wireless network that you can connect to with your uh, you, you know, your laptop or your phone or, or whatever uh, you might uh, want. And this, uh, this backpack, you know, becomes your, your internet bubble here. Uh, now, uh, why do I think this could save people money? Uh, well, the reason is because uh, this is a really uh, effective service in terms of connecting to the internet. I've tested it in a lot of different, uh, you know, rural areas. I've, I've tested in almost a dozen different places, and there's only two places where I was not able to get internet, and only one of those was outside. Uh, one of them was inside my Faraday cage house, uh, where I can't get any uh, signals of anything. I can't get cell service in there. You, you turn a radio on in the house, it doesn't work. You have to have all the antennas outside. So I, I I don't fault the system for not being able to get a signal into my house. My house is built to keep EMF out. There's only been one place outside of my house, deep in the woods in kind of a valley where I wasn't able to get internet service. But everywhere else, I have been able to get it. And I've even been able to get internet service in places where my cell phone was not able to get service. And that is the key to the money saving here. Because if you were to get this service through Nomad Internet, not only do you get internet service, you can also get phone service because you can you know, do voice over IP calling through this service, which is either super inexpensive or practically free, depending on how you swing it. So you, you not only get internet, but you also get phones. You can get rid of your phone plan and just use this and the coverage of this, uh, at least you know, through all my testing, uh, and it seems to be uh, you know the word of mouth of other people who have tested this as well. Uh, it seems like the coverage area of this is greater than uh, cell phone coverage. Now, there's one thing uh, that this is not greater than in terms of coverage, and that is satellite internet. Uh, you know, that's kind of the, the go-to for people when they're thinking about, well, I, I'm going to be living out in the middle of nowhere, and I want internet connectivity. Is it'll go with them something like um, you know, like Starlink or whatever. And Starlink's cool. I've seen Starlink fly. Over over my house. In fact, down in the description below, I'm going to put a website where you can look up when Starlink's going to go over your house. It's pretty cool to watch, but it's really, really expensive. I, I forget exactly what it is, but I mean, it's it's not cheap to connect to Starlink. Whereas, uh, you know, this service is much more inexpensive. Uh, and because you can package, uh, you know, all, you know, all of your, you know, your phone through this and your internet through this, uh, you know, it's a way of, of saving money. So it's, it's one of those great opportunities where it's kind of like, you know, you invest a little bit of money in this thing, but then you're instantly able to start, you know, saving money. And, you know, people are always talking, you know, with prepping and preparedness, there's only so much money to go around. You know, if you were to engage in a service like this, you instantly get access to internet that is mobile, that can just go with you. You, uh, you know, can use that at your house as long as you don't live in a Faraday cage. Uh, you know, you can do, use that on the road. You can use it for your cell, uh, cell phone or your telephone service. Uh, so it could instantly start saving you an awful lot of money. And uh, that's what seems to be kind of the mission of this co uh, company is to try to get internet out to people that have had trouble getting internet. You know, people that, you know, can't swing the satellite uh, internet kind of, uh, 
uh, you know, prices. Uh, and it seems like they've created something really, really nice. It's something really easy, and it's something really, really effective. In terms of the electromagnetic spectrum range in which this is working, it's somewhere in like the three and a half to five and a half gigahertz sort of spectrum, which puts it uh, slightly higher frequency than uh, you know cell phone uh, communication, uh, kind of low microwave kind of range is where it's operating at. And I know that's probably gonna trigger a lot of people's uh, memories that uh, 5G uh, service runs in that kind of low microwave range. And that might uh, be a concern for a lot of people, but. I honestly don't think that it should be any more than anything else. My view on 5G is very controversial. Everybody hates it. Everybody hates my view of 5G. People that think that 5G is gonna like melt their brains and turn them into zombies, think that I'm a total Pollyanna about it because I'm, you know, I'm not uh, like a vampire in holy water when it comes to 5G. Uh, but then on the flip side, people that are uh, you know, just all into it are like, oh, is that a 5G phone? Let me just kind of rub that all over my face. You know, those kind of people think that I'm like wicked paranoid about it. Uh, because my feeling on 5G is that it's probably not something that you want to be marinating your body in for extended periods of time at high intensity. Just like you probably shouldn't for any of the other generations, not 4G or 3G or 2G or 1G, or any of the other uh, parts of the electromagnetic spectrum that humans have added to the background radiation that we've evolved with. And you know, for that reason, my opinion here is really, really, uh, it's controversial because there are people that either want to hate it or want to love it. And you know, it really should be neither. It's, it's a part of the electromagnetic spectrum and because it's man-made and it was created after we evolved, we, you know, our bodies aren't used to it, you know, it's probably something that we should try to limit it, but not really any more so than anything else. Uh, 5G is, uh, you know, like I said, a little higher than cell phones. It's a little lower than um, microwaves. It's lower than uh, infrared light, which, you know, my, my body is uh, emitting infrared radiation right now. It's lower than visible light. Uh, it, you know, it's, it's higher on the spectrum than uh, things like you know, the monitor that you're watching this on right now. This image and this screen here is emitting, uh, you know, low wavelength electromagnetic radiation at you. All of these types of radiation are things that we should probably try to limit, but they're not things that we should be uh, you know, unduly concerned about. Yes, when you get really, really high in terms of frequency, you get up to, into x-rays and like nuclear, uh, nuclear waste and things like that. Yes, the, that ionizing radiation has direct, immediate biological impacts, but outside of ionizing radiation, I don't think it makes any sense to be particularly afraid of any of these non-ionizing radiation uh, fields, any more so than any of the other ones. So overall, I give uh, the Nomad internet really high marks. I think that it works really well. It's very effective. It's a great way of saving money. If you can kind of package a bunch of devices together, it's nothing to be afraid of in terms of the radiation that it, it works on, at least you know, no more so than cell phones or any other devices that people use very commonly. I was able to set up with the company a discount code for you guys. I, I honestly, I, I always forget all like this business kind of stuff. I, it was some kind of percentage. It was, it was a fairly good percentage, I think. <laughs> I'll put it down, uh, it, well, there's a graphic right here. I'll put it up in a graphic right here. I, ne I can never remember any of that kind of stuff. Uh, but uh, there's a discount for you guys to get engaged with it. Uh, but even you know, without the discount, uh, you know, if you are able to get rid of your cell service and your existing internet and have it all go into this one service, you know, discount or not, you're gonna be saving a heck of a lot of money right off the bat. Oh, and the one last thing I wanted to let you guys know uh, is in terms of trying out a new service, you might be wondering, well, like, is this gonna work at my house? What if I get it, it doesn't even work at my house? Uh, they uh, give you a free uh, trial period of like a week to try it out to make sure that it absolutely works for you. And you don't have to sign up for like any kind of a long-term contract because that's like the big thing with cell phones. And you can uh, discontinue the, the contract at any time uh, with no obligation to have to keep going or whatever. And I think it's great that they let you do that kind of trial period so you can make sure that it actually works for you. And once you find out that it does, I think that, uh, well, let you, you guys let me know if you're gonna be able to save money with this because I think that it's a really good opportunity for a lot of people to consolidate, make your life simpler, make your life cheaper, and you can take some of that money and save it, and save it up for other preps. That's it, thanks for watching. Hey YouTube preppers, here's another video that you might enjoy. But before you click on it, I wanted to take a moment to thank all the people you see listed on the screen. They help to support the work that I do here over at Patreon.com. If you'd like to join them and have your name added to that list, the link's below.